friends my name is shilpa kakka i am from mb patel english medium secondary and higher secondary school today i have come up with chapter number 6 of history of standard 12 the name of the chapter is economic impact of company rule let us see the objectives of the lesson and the content of the lesson learning objectives of this lesson here we learn about how the traditional economy of india collapsed how the life of the artisans and craftsmen in india ruined due to british rule in india revenue policy adopted by british and its effect stagnation in the field of agriculture industrial development in india during the british rule poverty and famines and impact of that during the british rule in india in india during the renaissance and religious reform period there was the beginning of progressive society in europe as a result of that democracy developed in england and monarchy steadily weakened and though democracy developed in developed in england industrial development brought complete change in the field of production machines had taken place of humans because of that there was a great demand for raw material they wondered where to get cotton indigo silk muslin jute etc agricultural products at a cheaper rate they chose a politically weakened country like india and it was a place where they get got the raw material at a very cheaper rate the industrial revolution led to a demand for raw materials in the factories in britain britain needed a market also to sell its finished goods so the britishers implemented the economic policy to exploit india and make england more prosperous if we look at the past the first 100 years that is the period between 1757 to 1750 sorry 1857 of company rule it had ruined well developed craft industry and prosperous trade of india india became a poor miserable and broken country colonialism and imperialism we have to start from bengal and it started from bengal they made the colony first in bengal and they started imperialism and made india a pauper country and england a prosperous one let us understand how they have developed slowly and steadily their trade in bengal how they have ruined bengal industry bengal agriculture bengal craftsmen and developed and established very strong rule of british in india bengal was their first colony collapse in traditional economy the mainstay of prosperity of the province of bengal was craft it was craft based industry and agricultural products which made the bengal business the prosperous one europeans also came to india for business purpose only francisco bernier had been to bengal 
twice during this period. He mentioned, there are a hundred doors of wealth to enter Bengal, but none to go out of it. Of all the provinces of the Mughal Empire, Bengal was the most resourceful. According to him, the volume of the Bengal's production of cotton and cotton products, rice, sugar and other commodities was simply outstanding. He found the market price of commodities in Bengal incredibly cheap. During 1708 to 1756, there was a great demand for cotton, silk, sugar, jute of Bengal throughout the world. There was a special demand for cotton cloth and silk of Dhaka in the world market. European companies used to export their goods through road and sea route to Basra, Mocha and Jeda. The East India Company came to India to trade in 1600 and 1680. It was surprised. It was supported by the British government and British gained control over Bengal after the Battle of Plassey in 1757. After the Battle of Buxar in 1764, they caught complete control over Bengal. Clive had got the civil powers of collecting land revenue and developed dual government method, that is dual administrative system, where all the powers were in the hands of the British, but they did not have any responsibility. Indians had the responsibility, but they did not have any power. So that dual administrative system was developed by British in Bengal after the Battle of Buxar in 1765. They created chaos and disturbance. Farmers and agriculture ruined due to this. This had an adverse effect on business, trade and industry. More than that, for the betterment of England, Britishers in India used their power and ruined craft-based business and trade. It made Bengal very poor. Their prime concern was England only. They never thought about natives and forcefully implemented their economic plans and policies in India. The betterment of England had been their main concern. Their policy of exploitation weakened the Indian economy. The economic advisor of Madras state, John Suvillan, wrote that this policy worked like a sponge, which took good things from India and sent to England. So friends, in this part, we learned about the economic policies adopted by British to weak the economic condition of India and especially in Bengal. This is the end of the first part. I have covered two major topics. In my next session, I'll take up the different topics to other topics and we move further in this chapter. I hope till this point you are clear. Thank you.